Alrighty now. Welcome everyone. This is I Talk Fortnite here. And welcome to the I Talk Fortnite podcast, episode number eight. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all enjoying your lovely Saturday evening, as I am. And uh, always as a reminder in the very beginning of these podcasts is that these are audio only, which means these are meant for you to listen to while you're playing a game, doing Save the World, doing whatever. Really doesn't matter. It's really just for you guys to listen. And uh, that's basically it. So hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy this podcast. So a few personal things I just want to mention is that uh, I did eventually actually buy a Note 9. I do have it with me right here. It's pretty neat. Um, I needed a new phone anyway. My my old phone was was so bad it wouldn't charge on the charger, and the only charger it would actually use was the uh, was like a really shitty like like not authentic charger, and it wouldn't charge on like my authentic chargers anymore. And the battery was fried. Long story, it was just not a good phone anymore. And I really didn't feel like paying money for a new battery or anything like that. So, yeah. So the whole day today has just been me like cleaning my room up and uh, putting stuff on my new phone now because I put, especially from Apple to Android, it really, you have to put like a lot of stuff. There's no syncing like there is with like getting an Apple, Apple iPhone 5, then an Apple iPhone 8 or something like that. It's, literally Apple to Android and there's no like good way to like convert that. So I've been doing all that today. I got a headache today too, which is lovely. I really love having those. But uh, yes, I did play three games of Fortnite on my new Note 9. It is brand new. I made sure it was brand new because if it wasn't brand new, then I would have been pretty upset about it, honestly. And uh so I should have the Galaxy skin by tomorrow at least. So that is always a cool thing. Um, oh my! Okay. On my uh, last podcast, I did mention that at 3,000 subscribers, I would actually show you guys what my uh, what my setup looked like. I said after we hit 3,000 subscribers, we're almost at 3,500 right now. I seem to be gaining about 500 subs a day, which is insane. So I just want to appreciate that. I, I, I want you guys to know that I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, and I also mentioned in that podcast that for now on, all my Q&As will be on my podcasts, and they'll be at the end. So if you have any questions you'd like to answer that I don't answer in this video, leave them down in the comments of this one. And that's basically it for that. Um, I think that's all the personal stuff out of the way. Got a new phone. Should be getting the Galaxy soon. Thank you for all the support on my channel. The, the, I, I've been getting like a lot of tweets from people. Like someone drew art for me to, to show to Fortnite game. Like they tweeted it out, which was awesome. It looks great. I got a new uh, icon made by Treasure, the same guy who made my banner. Greatly appreciate. He actually made it for me for free because I paid him for the, ba the two banners. So I really do appreciate it from him. So if you notice my icon's different, it's because of him. So really do appreciate him. If you want, please go in my description of this video. Give him a follow on Twitter. Ask him for some graphics if you need some. He's insanely talented. Would highly recommend him. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the personal. So let's get right into the podcast. So there's not a lot to talk about today. But we do have some early 5.4 updates that I want to go over with you. I will go over the full updates on Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when they actually d bring in the new update. I don't know when they're going to do it, but as soon as they do do it, we'll have the podcast for you guys. And um, yeah, so we have some early details of what is actually going to be in this update. So the first thing is Final Storms will now... this the, the uh, Okay, the circle, the circle itself will actually break buildings now. Which sounds weird, and it is a little weird. I, I won't lie. It is very weird. But the way it works is it's actually pretty simple. Hopefully nothing plays while I'm trying to find what I'm looking for here. Okay, all right, good, 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 good. So the outer edges of the circles will destroy, like, like buildings, which I, I don't know how I feel about that. 
So hopefully we'll see how that works because that would be that would suck if you like built like a really big like not sky base. I mean it would kill sky bases, but if you built like a uh, like a really nice one by one or something like that, and it all crumbled down, and then you had to fall and take the damage. I hope they don't make it so you take damage through this, but it seems like that's that might be what they do. And if that is what they do, that would kind of suck. It seems kind of unfair too, but then again, like a lot of build fights are probably going to end really annoyingly because of that change but we'll, we'll see what happens we haven't really played around with it yet um so the uh, second thing they mentioned was that the revolver was going to get vaulted now i personally i'm i don't really care too much about the revolver being vaulted but i'm kind of shocked that it wasn't like the lmg or something like that because the lmg is especially in this stage of the game is doesn't really fit i mean it's good it's good spray wise when you're like really up close but you know we have the, the the p90 for that we have the smgs for that we don't really need the lmg so i don't know seems a little redundant to revolt uh, to you know vault the revolver i mean it i always thought it kind of deserved a buff same with like the, the desert eagle that also needs a buff as well so i don't know uh the other things they mentioned is that the c4 will now be the C4s will now be um, epic instead of rare, which is good because I'm tired of seeing those everywhere. Um, boogie bombs will now be in stacks of two instead of one when you pick them up. And shield, big shields can now stack in three. And that's all they said in the video, but they did show some things in the video that they didn't mention. So they're mentioning like the C4 being from rare to epic now. A few other things they're going to get. The rarities are going to get changed. Like I saw in the in the um, video, the silence pistol and the dual wield pistols are going to be blue. Now, I don't know if that means they're going to keep their legendary counterparts. I think they are, but they're going to be blue, which um, honestly, I think that's good. But because uh, I am kind of tired of seeing like every time I see some legendary, it's either like a bush or it's a silence pistol or something like or dual pistols. And I'm like, can we just like... I don't know. It seems like decent guns are really, really hard to come by in this game. So, I don't know. I think it's a good thing. I think they need to mix stuff around. But I will say I do wish they just vaulted the P90 and brought the TAC SMG back. Honestly, I am... I don't know. I hate the spray meta. I wish they just bring double pump back. But I don't know what they're doing. But they're they're constantly tweaking things around. They're constantly shifting metas and... I mean, yeah, it does keep the game fresh, but at the same time, it gets it, it gets kind of annoying because once we're in a meta, we don't know what's coming next. We don't know what's going to, like, the meta is constantly shifting. And, like, with Overwatch, you know, they didn't have updates once a week. They had updates frequent, but not once a week frequent. And, yeah, these guys have enough time and they have enough money to do all this, but it's, like, I feel like it's kind of overbearing. Like, I don't know. Um, if you ever played the game Old School RuneScape, they have a development team that have been putting out updates every Thursday for five years. And I don't know. To me, that's just insane to think about. So a lot of people didn't like that either with that game. They, they thought, you know, we need to slow down with updates. You're updating the game way too much. It's not the old school version of RuneScape anymore. It's getting into like it's starting to get to the, the newer stuff, which people didn't like at the time. And people still don't, I don't think. And, uh, yeah, it just, uh, I don't know, it seems really weird that they that they would do that with the 5.4, but we still don't know everything. We we don't know. They they could, we don't know. This is all just from the teases that they've been giving us on, um, on YouTube and on Twitter. And then, what else did they mention? They mentioned the high stakes event, which is basically the tomato head challenges, except for this new skin, which is basically the male version of the Ace skin, which is the start the new starter pack skin. It's probably going to be fifteen hundred V bucks because they did announce yes, it is going to be in the item shop. You have to buy the skin, which I'm okay with. It looks amazing enough. I don't really care too much that uh, that they're selling the skin. I'd rather they sell it than give it to everybody because if they if you give a skin to everybody, then people are going to be pissed. It's like, well, it's everyone has the skin, so why bother wearing it? Because I think that's why a lot of people are mad about Red Knight coming back because they knew people would buy it. And the fact that they bought it, people don't want to run Red Knight anymore because they see it too much. I personally don't see that many Red Knights, to be completely honest with you. But, ah, uh, who knows. 
So yeah, high stakes event looks really cool. The uh, the new skin, which is um, I forgot what the skin name is actually called. I'm very uh, I can't believe I actually don't remember what the name of it is. I will find out for you in like five seconds. So the new skin is called um, the wild card outfit, and it's interchangeable. Like I said, with like the tomato head challenges, but this is interchangeable because his face resembles a heart and you can get an ace, a diamond, and a spade on it, interchangeable after you do these certain challenges, which you don't know anything about. And there's also going to be a getaway limited time mode, which I'm really excited to know what that is, because that could be that could be pretty cool. We'll have to see what happens with that. And uh, begins next week, so as soon as 5.4 update hits, we'll get the skin and we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, the event or not the yeah yeah basically the event's what it's called right high stakes event yeah it's a high stakes event. So, I think that's probably going to last us maybe a week or two. And uh, I'm excited to see it because this skin, honestly, it, it's clean. It looks really, really clean. So, I'm really excited about that. And that's kind of it. This is going to be a really short podcast. But uh, now I'm going to go into my questions because, I, like I said, every, every single uh, podcast, at the end of them, I will be doing a little Q&A which you can answer questions down below of this very video and you can submit your questions by leaving the word questions so it is easier to find. You're more than welcome to leave whatever you want, but if you want to leave questions for me, go right ahead. Oh, sorry about that. Alrighty, but uh, let's get right into it from the uh, from my previous podcast. I'm just going to go through the comments and read some of the questions there. So from Don't Sub To Me Please, he says, Hey, if I got the tab S4 at Christmas, could I get the Galaxy skin or was that a pre-order only? So I did I did comment this to him. I try not to look at the comments for questions early, but I did see his and I didn't want to worry him. So I said, you can get it, I think, up till December 31st, as long as you just play three games on a brand new tablet or phone. That is the Note 9 or the Note 4, I think the tablet's called. Don't quote me on the tablet. I don't remember what the ta- which tablet is the one that gives you the skin. It's on the website. You can find it out through that. But yeah, so it is not pre-order only. The only thing that was pre-order only was instant access to the skin without playing any games and you get 15,000 V-Bucks. That is the only uh, difference. Uh, so from Bob Jones, he says, just catching this now, been busy with college. Sorry, I couldn't answer. I couldn't watch sooner. Cool q and used to play the hell out of Crash as a kid too. Not as familiar with Spyro though. So I didn't even ask you a question, but thank you, Bob Jones. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. So from uh, Flashback Ghost, he writes... If you could only have three skins, one glider, one pickaxe, and one emo, what would they be? So, okay, so those three skins would be Overtaker, Power Cord, and uh, Ravage. The glider would probably be uh, Stage Dive. Pickaxe would be the Anarchy Axe, and the emo would be Rock Out. Thank you for your question. Flashback Ghost. Uh, from Lev, he asked me how to make a podcast, and I actually made a video on how to do a podcast. So I'm really, uh, I'm really happy for him. I, I think... Uh, I think he'll do well. I think I think I made my that tutorial pretty decently. Uh, so let's see from Carbu underscore X. He says, "Do you have a new thing about Power Core Leak or something new for our next vid?" I don't have anything currently. Um, there's a lot of rumors going around now over Twitter that Power Core isn't coming back because she's too sexually revealing, which is completely ridiculous. There's no way in hell they would not release her because of that. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. If you look at the email. The person addresses power cord in one word when power cord is two words. And it just looks completely fake. It's You could easily JavaScript that. I could easily JavaScript that. It's super easy. So the only leak we have is that people are getting hyped about the skin and that, you know, it's just, I don't know. People are just trying to make it seem like, oh, yeah, it's never coming back. But I don't know. There are uh, a lot of haters out there, man. A lot of haters for people. Just to people that just want a skin to come back. I personally do not get it, really. I really do not. Um, let's see. Let's see, 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 see. Hmm. People aren't really putting the word question in, but that is absolutely okay. I don't mind reading through these comments. You guys are always so nice. I really appreciate it. Um... I have to say from Abdul, uh, he says, honestly, I love watching your videos. They make me happy, and you're the only one who understands. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Abdul. That means so much to me, man. <sighs> from, uh, let's see, from Honey Badger, he writes, when trading comes out, maybe you could trade Power Cord 
with your uh, bro or fans. So trading isn't actually going to be a thing. I doubt it's going to be a thing. I'm going to make a video addressing this whole, oh, you know, gifting equals trading or when gifting comes out, that means you can trade skins. That is not the case at all. These clickbait YouTubers just say it. That's what it is. So they get your your sub and they're like, oh, if you subs subscribe to me, I'll give you a skin. Not true. How is he going to give a million subscribers a skin? It's ridiculous. So don't fall for that. But if trading was a thing, I'll make a video specifically about that. I do think they could make trading a thing as long as they do a few things because the way gifting works is basically, say Power Cord was in the shop, right? I buy Power Cord for 2,000 V-Bucks. And then if I want to get it for a friend, I'd have to spend another 2,000 V-Bucks and then give it to my friend. Now, if it was like trading, if I bought Power Cord and then I traded it to my friend for no V-Bucks, do you see what I'm getting here? Epic would rather you spend money on a skin twice than just spend it on one and then give it to someone else that was wanting to spend on it and get them getting it for free. You know what I mean? So they won't do it unless the V box is involved. Basically, there has to be a tax on trading. Honestly, if I if I had to, um, if they were to actually do trading, that's how I think they would do it. Uh, from X Respect, he says, "Do I have an upload schedule? If do if so, what time do you usually upload your videos? I don't actually have an upload schedule." But I probably will upload my videos around 3 o'clock Eastern for now on because I know a lot of kids are going to school and, you know, they can't really watch YouTube during school. I don't recommend kids watching YouTube at school. You know, focus on your classes, kids. Don't, don't, uh, don't just watch YouTube videos all day like I did. Don't do that. Promise me. It's not going to get you anywhere. But uh, I, I'm going to try to upload daily. It sounds hard to do, but I'm, I'm going to try. So uh, thank you for your comment. X respect, appreciate it. Uh, from Shaggy is thick. What's your opinions on Raptor? He and Power Cord are my two favorite skins. Raptor is pretty cool. I think Raptor. Well, since Raptor is like the first legendary skin in the game, it has a special place in the game, as it it's the first legendary in the game. I'm not the biggest fan of him because he just looks too simplistic for me. But I do like the outfit. It's very clean, and I think it's a very nice looking skin. So, thank you, Shaggy. Appreciate the comment, man. Appreciate it. Oh, so, uh, let's see. Okay, Multiplays actually has some questions. Uh, so, the first comment, or no, the first question I read I read below it, it was, made me laugh a little. So, the first question was, what brought you to do YouTube? Long story short, I just wanted to entertain. I, I love making videos. I've been do making videos for almost 10 years now. And I'm starting to finally see some success through uh, Fortnite, and I couldn't be more thankful for this amazing game bringing a community together that all want a skin back, or we just want to shit on the clickbaiters and stuff like that. Like, it, it's just amazing. So I really, it, it's because of you guys, and it's because of Fortnite that I'm able to to do this, and it, it, it just means so much to me. So that's basically all it is. I just like to entertain uh, second question is, what do you want to do in the future? I want to get into um, directing or video editing or uh, just anything with camera work. I, I'm, I'm fascinated with like how like cable TV has like, you know, you, there's so much that goes into making a TV show and there's so much that that is making like a movie or or the news or something like that where like there's so many cameras and there's so many different camera angles and stuff like that. I really want to get into like that. I want to get into stuff like that. Like I've, I've just been a huge fan of and plus radio i would love to get into radio if i could uh, i've been told i kind of have a voice for it and i i don't really believe that but if i did i would do radio in a heartbeat i would love to do serious xm radio and be like a fortnite podcaster who just talks about fortnite every day i would not mind doing that <laughs> i could always come up with new ideas to talk about which i think would be that'd be pretty sick honestly that that's that that's like a, such a dream though uh, number three, do you think the Christmas skins will come back? Absolutely, during Christmas, dude. Number four, what made you make a video about Power Cord? I did mention this, but basically my friends were asking me um, why I gave a shit about Power Cord because I wouldn't shut up about it. So I made a video to kind of tell them, hey, this is why I don't like it, why I don't like how they haven't brought it back yet. And it kind of blew up, and I was not expecting it. Uh, number five, how does it feel to grow so fast? It's really overwhelming. It's extremely, extremely overwhelming, but I am keeping my cool and I'm just soaking it all in. And it's all thanks to you guys once again that 
you guys are making this possible for me. So just just thank you. Uh, last question: If you could buy every skin beside the power cord, would you pick all the skins of the game or only power? Oh, wow, wow. Okay, so I'm going to say yes if that includes every single Battle Pass skin as well. If I could get everything from the Battle Pass, yes. If not, no. I would not. If it was everything else, I would not. I would only want Power Cord. But something about having all the Season 2, 3, 4, and 5 stuff, like all that, all those skins, I feel like would make my account amazing. But because I started late Season 3 and I didn't even get John Wick or the Elite Agent, kind of sucks. So... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, even with that, no, I'd still choose Power Cord over everything else. And uh, he says, I love your content. You keep up the good work. P.S. Your voice makes me with a with a ooh face. I love it. Thank you, man. Greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Uh, from Bizarre Gaming, just recently discovered your channel. Amazing content so far. Keep up the good work. Also, are you excited for Spyro Remaster coming out? Absolutely bizarre, dude. I'm so excited for that game to come out. Unfortunately, I got the news. That the game got delayed, so it's supposed to come out March to or I'm sorry, it's supposed to come out September 21st. It is now coming out November 13th, so I have to wait a good while now. But then again, just if this is if this means they're gonna make the game as best as they can and they're not gonna release it all messed up, then fine. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't ever release a game rushed. Just don't do that. Uh, from Seth Tav, do you want to squat up with me and the other guy from Best Buy? So Seth Tav is actually uh, a kid I met at my local Best Buy when I was trying to get the Galaxy skin through the Note the through I think I would try to do it through the S9, not the Note 9. And uh, we were chatting a little bit. Really cool kids. I really hope uh, we get to play soon. But awesome kids, man. You meet so many cool people, dude. I always wanted to try to get like my neighborhood into Fortnite, like, I, I, would, I wanted to, like, post, like, posters in our neighborhood saying, hey, if you play Fortnite, add me here, and we could all, like, have, like, a big, like, fun session or something like that, or just, you know, make a group. I always want, I always like bringing people together, so, I don't know. It's just nice. Uh, from the Unknown Hero, what is your favorite landing spot? I actually love Junk Junction, because a lot of people don't go there. Haven't landed there recently, because I, when I play in squads, no one likes going there but me, so I usually never get to choose there. So if I had, if I couldn't choose, uh, if I couldn't choose Junk Junction, I'd probably would say uh, retail or salty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, trending videos uh, commented saying, uh, "I just thought of two good Halloween skins: a guy with a jack o' lantern on his head and a witch. The witch's glider or pickaxe can be a broom." That's an insanely good idea. Trending videos. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that because I believe there was a. Uh, excuse me. I believe there was a Reddit post uh, saying both of those things, actually. So maybe we might get something like that. You never know, man. You never know. And that's... Oh, no, wait. We got one more uh, one more comment from uh, Eric Rodriguez. He says, sorry, I'm late. But when did you start to play Fortnite? And one more question. What is my dog's name? So I have two dogs. Uh, my golden retriever's name is Bella. And my uh, golden poodle's name is Chloe. <laughs> And they're both my children, and I love them both so much. So when did I start playing Fortnite? I started playing Fortnite, mid, like, in Season 3, like, when Power Cord was out. And I wasn't as dedicated to it. I was playing Overwatch at the same time I was playing Fortnite, and I never really got into Fortnite until the Raven skin came out. And when I saw the Raven skin come came out, I'm like, oh, my God. I need to put everything down. I need to buy this skin, and I need to try to get good at this game because that skin made me really get invested in Fortnite. So I really have to thank the Raven skin for that, really. And, um, yeah, that is actually basically it, guys. Thank you so much for your comments. And like I said, if you have some questions you would like to leave for me, please go down to the comments of this video, of this podcast, and leave a question. Start with the word question so it is easier for me to find. And that'll be it for the Q&A, or not the Q&A, this will be it for the podcast. And uh, now it's time for us to head out. Have a good day, everyone. At the, uh, I should have a podcast again by Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when the 5.4 update comes out. And then we'll go over all the patch notes together. We'll go over the leaked skins because you know we're going to get some of those. And that'll be it. So hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Leave a like if you did. 
I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications just so you get all of my latest uploads. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to say something else about the podcast. Please do. I don't care. Comment whatever you want. Comment cheese sandwich if you want. I don't really care, man. And uh, follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite. And join the Discord. Have a good one, guys. See ya.